Well, hey friends, and welcome to my autumn morning routine. Today, I want to take you along and spend a cozy Saturday morning together. And on the weekends, I do like to sleep in a bit, normally waking up somewhere between 8 and 8.30 a.m. The morning light in autumn is just absolutely beautiful. So one of the first things that I like to do is to open up my blinds. I also like to take a few moments to make my bed. This is one of those integral parts of my morning and I never quite feel ready for the day until I've done it. At this time of year especially, I am all about some cozy vibes. And one way that I like to create a Huga atmosphere in my home is to light scented candles. The scent of this one is birch and amber, and it just reminds me of all things fall. I'm also a big lover of hot tea, and so during the fall and winter, you can pretty much always find me sipping on some flavor of loose leaf tea. And the one I opted for on this day was this incredible pumpkin chai. It's also amazing paired with oat milk, so I added just a splash of that. And with my tea in hand, I made my way over to the couch to do some reading. And reading is something that I like to do pretty much every day, but especially on the weekend. I love that I can just sit and get lost in a story for however long I want, and I'll often find myself reading for an hour or two. And the book that I'm reading right now is Endless Night by Agatha Christie, and I've been loving it so far because not only is it a mystery novel, which in itself screams of autumn to me, but the story itself is of a wealthy English couple who move into a new house only to discover that the locals believe the land they just moved onto is cursed. And I won't spoil any more, I'll just say it is a perfect seasonal read. But then once I got to a good stopping place, I put my novel aside and got out my Bible to read a few chapters of it. And I recently decided to start reading through the whole Bible, starting at the beginning. So right now I'm in Genesis and I'm reading about two chapters a day. And something that's really been enhancing my time in scripture is this journaling Bible. I love that it provides a place where I can take notes as well as write down any thoughts, reflections, or applications that I come across in the reading. And this peaceful, quiet time really is one of the most impactful things that helps me to start the day well, spiritually and emotionally. By the time I finish my reading, I've usually worked up quite an appetite. So at this point, I'll head back over to the kitchen and start making some breakfast. First things first though, I poured a kombucha to sip on while I prepared the food. I'm also big on setting the vibe, so music is a must for me. And so today, I decided to play some Novo Amor. And on the weekend, breakfasts are something that can vary quite a bit for me. Usually during the week, I'll have a smoothie for breakfast, but since I have more time on Saturdays, I like to get a bit more creative. So in this morning, I decided to make some pumpkin spice pancakes. I used this Kodiak protein pancakes mix as a base and then added to it maple syrup, organic canned pumpkin, spices, and a few other ingredients to zhuzh it up a bit. And once the mix was ready, I got out a large pan and began pouring out and flipping the pancakes. And 
and I will say this is definitely not something I'm an expert at, but I did get better as I went. Then once I finished making the pancakes, I moved on to preparing the toppings. I'm definitely of the belief that what you pair with your pancakes is just as important as the flavor of the pancakes themselves. So I chopped up a couple of fresh Honeycrisp apples and used them to create a caramel apple compote. And to make this, I just put the apples on the stove with a bit of maple syrup, cinnamon, and sugar. Then I just stirred them occasionally until the apples had softened and the liquid had created a syrup-like consistency. And then with everything ready, I just quickly refilled my kombucha and began plating my pancakes. And in addition to the caramel apple compote, I also topped them with a handful of pomegranate seeds and chopped pecans. Then it was time to dig in and oh my goodness, these were incredible. Between the flavors of the pancakes and the toppings, I honestly don't know that I've ever had a better pancake. The tartness of the pomegranate seeds cut through the sweetness of the apple perfectly and all the flavors just felt like they were in perfect harmony. But then after I finished my meal, I took a few moments to put my dishes in the dishwasher and to clean up. I made quite a mess while preparing breakfast, so I wanted to reset the space. I did also have some leftovers, so I put them in some food storage containers so I could save them for later. And once all the dishes were washed, I finished up my tidying with giving my surfaces a quick wipe down. And at this point, it was time to properly get ready for the day. I had plans in just over an hour to meet up with a friend for coffee and a walk at a local park, so I wanted to get ready for that. So I began just with washing my hands and my face to freshen up a bit. Then I also applied some moisturizer, and this one from Dermalogica is one of my favorites. And of course, I also brushed my teeth and applied some deodorant. Then I got dressed for the day, putting on this vintage style pair of jeans and ribbed top, both of which are from Madewell, and I finished the outfit with a necklace from Windblown Jewelry and my hair was already in pretty decent shape, but I did touch up and add definition to a handful of the curls using my curling iron. Then I just set them with a bit of hairspray and arranged them a bit. And then I applied a bit of makeup, and yes, this is something that I normally do while seated on the floor in my bedroom. I just love the natural lighting in there. I like to keep my makeup routine fairly simple. It usually takes me somewhere between 5 and 10 minutes to do, but I really do love the process of just using a bit of makeup to highlight my favorite features. But then with my makeup finished, I just quickly put everything away and then was ready for the day. And all that was left was for me to put on my shoes and head out the door. So that's it, that is my autumn morning routine, or at least what it looks like on a lazy Saturday morning. But I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me and that this maybe gives you some inspiration on how you could spend a peaceful Saturday morning of your own. But now I'd love to know what does your weekend morning routine look like? I'd love to hear about it, so be sure to let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to give this video a like to let me know that you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already for more simple and intentional living videos coming at you twice a week. And until next time, friends, I hope you have an amazing day.